Good morning. Well, I am getting ready to leave in a few hours to fly off to Germany. So this will be my last coffee. Well, my last coffee in the United States. I'm going to be drinking some good stuff over there in Germany. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> this morning I'm going to open up some Inspirazione Roma, Roma, Rome, Italy. Um, and let me read you about this. The fragrance wafting out of Rome's traditional coffee bars is testament to a rich history of contrasts, popular tastes tempered by the capital's elegance. This complexity is mirrored in a subtle roast balancing intensity and finesse and deep flavor spiked with hints of acidity. Now, I also looked this up um, online. This has got uh, both Arabica and Robusta, has a lot of Robusta. There's an intensity of eight because this is a fairly strong espresso. So my water is hot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and brew this black. And then I'm going to froth up some oat milk to pour on top. So, okay. And I've got <laughs> all kinds of lovely original line coffees, most of which were sent to me by a lovely internet friend, thank you Deb, who I met over coffee online. So there it is. Not very much, is it? But remember, again, this is espresso, 1.35 ounces. So before I taste it, I'm just going to get this oat milk frothing here. And this is zero sugar plain oat milk. I'm using Chobani. So that's spinning around and heating up. Okay. And again, you know, when we drink espresso, or any sort of coffee with crema. Oh, this is a double wall glass mug. Just a minute. Plastic spoon, so I don't break it. I have been known to do that. Oh, this is good. Now, it says in some of the notes that I've read that it's got sweet, woody notes. There is a, there's a sweetness to it, but it's not a sweetness like sugar. It's, I would say, a lack of bitterness is what I would call it. Um, oh, and good morning to everybody who's watching. Um, this may be my last live video for about a month. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get online uh, like this when I'm over in Germany, but we'll see. This is very nice. You know, again, I love the Napoli. This is good. The Napoli is an intensity of 11, I believe. This is eight. Oh, my froth is ready. Let me go get it. Okay. There's something very satisfying about doing this. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's white like snow and kind of stir it in. It's almost like a very, very light whipped cream. 
Mm. You know, I will have to try frothing maybe a, a higher calorie almond milk than what I usually get. This oat milk is, <clears throat> I believe, let me see here. Sorry. Whoop. Oh, there we go. The phone wants to fall off. This oat milk, okay, I'm glad I looked. It's 80 calories a cup, okay? The um, almond or almond coconut milk that I've used in the past is uh, generally 30, 35, or 40 calories a cup. And this is much richer. I'll have to actually get some higher calorie almond milk and try frothing that and see if it affects the taste. Let me give this one more stir. Mm. You know, to me, this has a very nice, smooth flavor. I know the intensity is eight, and some people don't care for these, you know, higher intensities, but to me, the Napoli has, you know, just a good whoa, strength to it. This, to me, I would say is like a medium, like a mild to medium kind of coffee. It's got good coffee flavor, but it's not wimpy and it's not super strong. Um, oh, am I taking, Kevin's asking, am I taking any of my machines to Germany? Oh no, I don't have to because over there, they make the best coffee. Like all the restaurants you go into and stuff, like, Maybe it might be French press, but usually they've got, you know, the fancy cappuccino machines with all the bells and whistles. And um, I'm not sure what kind my daughter's making right now, but when we visit her in-laws, they have the, you know, I mean, where you pack the, co the ground coffee in and then manually you press down the thing and the espresso comes out. Oh, it is so good. The last time I went over there, a couple of years ago, that was right before I got my Nespresso machines. And I was still big into like a cup of coffee I would put an equal, a Splenda, and a Sweet and Low, all three. And then that was sweet enough for me. Well, ever since I've gotten my Nespresso machine, I've been able to appreciate the complex and interesting and characterful flavors that are in coffee and I haven't needed sweetener. Oh, yeah, sometimes I'll put, you know, some uh, skinny syrup in or something with a, you know, flavor or whatever. But most mornings I just have it with some sort of milk, usually a plant milk. I've got nothing against cows. I just really particularly like oat milk and almond milk. But anyway, um, so now when I'm going over there, I'll really be able to get the flavor of the coffee because I won't need to muddle it up with sweeteners. Nothing against sweeteners or sugar. You know, you do you. You drink it how you like. Mmm. Wow. Oh, and also over there, they don't give you things that say coffee whitener. It's cream. You know, it may be, maybe like, I'm not sure if it's like half and half or if it's full strength cream, but, um, you know, like usually in restaurants, at least a couple of years ago, you get cream. Now, will we be going to restaurants? You know, actually, no, we won't because things are much worse over there than they are over here with COVID and um, they've got a lot of rules and regulations. They follow rules over there. Like you, certain places you cannot even get in if you haven't, don't have proof of vaccination. Um, most public places you have to wear the, um, let's see, do I have it here? Um, uh, hang on, hang on. Bear with me a minute. Here we go, I got it. Okay, you have to wear you know, this sort of mask, like, 
you know, this sort of deal. It's like the N95, but it's not medical grade. It's, uh, you know, for civilians. <laughs> um, you're not allowed to wear cloth masks or any other type of paper mask. So, um, you know, and the fact is, you follow the rules or sorry, goodbye. And people follow the rules over there. Um, but uh, they had loosened up their rules over the summer and they're kind of seeing the effect of things now. Also, there's a lot of people from all kinds of other countries, you know, with the countries in Europe being so small and all, you know, close together, there's a lot of travel, um, you know, even from Africa and Asia in and out of Europe. So, um, anyway, we're mostly going to stay home. We'll take walks and go hiking, but we're not going to go to any places full of people. I'm going over to visit, to meet my granddaughter who turned one a few days ago. I have never met her because, you know, with the whole COVID thing, I couldn't go over there. So I made plans to go now. Of course, who knew that now there was going to be a fourth wave going on? Although most, I think it said 95% of the people that are getting sick are unvaccinated. I'm vaccinated, plus I've had the booster. Hopefully everything will be fine. Well, anyway, so yeah, we're having a whole chat over coffee here. Well, look, I hope to get back with you sometime soon, hopefully from Germany, but I hope that you have a lovely Thanksgiving and that you're making good choices for the holidays so you'll stay healthy in every way. I'll talk to you later.